It is likely you have heard the word on many occasions that knowledge is power. So I'm gonna share some power with you in today's tutorial. So welcome to my Dan Computer Training Channel. In our tutorial today, we are going to discuss a Microsoft Word on one of the menu bar that I often not discuss. Many persons do not know much about mailing. So we are going to discuss about why should you know more about mailing and why should you use it. So if you have not subscribed to my Dan Computer Training Channel, please just strike that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share this video. Well, in this particular video, I'm going to help you to save so much time. Let's take for example, you are a secretary or you are working in a place that all this name, it could just be like, take for example, you're working in one of the universities and you're in charge to actually send a letter to each of these students on this list. Actually, this list contains more than 1,000 names. Let us assume that these all are the names of new in-text students that you are to send mail to them. Uh, it could just be a mail of um, acceptance mail. So, what will you do? How will you be able to send a letter to each of them? Well, 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 many of us would just go there, copy their names because we might have their database, copy their names and um, type, okay, input on top of each of the letters we are going to type. But I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how you can do that without spending hours, days in order to get this out. So can you just spend five, less than five minutes and do this? So. I advise you stay down to the end of this tutorial so you can learn. Now we are going to uh, get our sample letter. Well, I'm not going to spend time typing much. Um, there's a, if you might have follow our last tutorial, we show you how to, to occupy the screen with um, whatever we want without necessarily typing. So let's just assume that we are already typing the letter of accept, uh, acceptance letter, um, admission letter to them. Alright, so what do we do? Let me just populate this page with few things. If you may remember that we used this in our last tutorial, um, we use um, run, bracket, open. I just want to get some things on um, some words on the page there. Um, let us just say three, bracket, close see what will happen. Alright, we have created some, we have generated some of the things we may want to use for our practice. Oh, these are two, this is too bold, so let me reduce it up. Most of our letters are between 12 to 14. I just did this way. Okay. Um, just allow me use this one as a heading. Good, good, good. All right. Now let us assume that this is our letter. Letter. Let me just make it a bit more appropriate. Okay. I have the wording. We are using the school letter header paper. And all you need is that you need to send this to individual students, okay? Send the mail to them, addressing them. How do you do that? Well, this is, the, assumably, this is the letter, all right? And we want their name to be here. Why we send the letter to them? How do you do that? Now we have gotten this. So we are going to use this record that contain all their names, first names, so name, address, university, and postcode. All right, how do you do that? This is the letter. Kindly go to mail, mailings. At the mailing, we are going to use the mailing wizard. You can see start mail, okay. Start mail match, just click on it. Click on mail match somewhere here. Come down to the last one where you have um, Step-by-step -step mail um, wizard, when you have that mm, mail wizard there, we are going to use the wizard of it, okay? So when you click on wizard, you will have it display here where you have a mail match. Mail match is here, and say mail match. Now, in this case, it's a letter, so you leave this first one. Can you see letter? All right, you just click on that first one there. And then come to the bottom and click next. As you click on next, Go back again, check through. All right, in this one, can leave it this way. Come again and click what? Next. When you click on next, in this step three, you can see step three of six. Come to the browse, browse, this is browse. 
I hope you can see. Now click on the browse. Now what are you browsing for? You are trying to locate the list that contain the student's record. So <clears throat> on my system, we actually save it on the um, desktop calling this folder. I save it as uh, amazing. So I have click on it. It's trying to populate it here. So we give it just a few seconds. I'm sure it will soon be done. Okay. Good. Perfect. 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 So you can see son name, first name, address, and all others. Okay. Come to the bottom here. Bottom right. Click on OK button. All right. After clicking on OK button, you have successfully um, done with step three of six. You can see it here. Step three of six. I hope we are following. Okay. Now go to the bottom again. Click on next. Good. When you come here, that is you are at step four of six. You are about finishing up the work. Come to this first one that says address block. Address block is up here. All right. You can see it here. Click on that one. All right. It opened this. When it opened, it already show you the sample. Can you see here? This box show you the preview of one of them. Okay, you can even see that. Can you notice that it, in the box there the names are changing? All right, so you can already see the preview. Okay, good. You can see we're already on 17. You can click here for one. Now let's see the last one. So can you see that we already have more than 1,175? That means we are sending this to 1,175 students within this few minutes without necessarily having to type them one after the other. Then come to the bottom, click on OK button. Good. When you click on the OK button, if you observe from my screen carefully, let me zoom my screen a little because of that. If you observe my screen, you will see this address block. This address block, OK, it has just been added. You may wonder why it's there and what it's all about, but just watch out as we make progress to the next step. I'm clicking on next. That is step five. If you notice now, you can see that my screen now is populated, or oh, my the address is there now. But how do you know whether it's more than just one? You can see it up here. You can see it here. You can even navigate it through here. Can you see it keep changing? If you observe in the main mail, it's changing. All right. You can as well check it through here. Okay. Um, if at this point you may want to send it to the printer if it's to be printed, you can come here, finish word and match. Finish and match. Click on it. Could make a choice of what you really want to do with printing. Click on this the, the printer. All right. Match, match to printer. Match to printer. You can choose whether you want to take it. You want to print or want to print a, a current record or a current page or you want to specify. Let us zoom from pages 1 um, down to um, 28, okay? And you click on OK. That is quite OK. But then you could click on All if that is what you want. After clicking OK, it will then bring up a printer dialog box in much more way that you can actually um, specify what you want. You can decide on your printer. And decide on how many copies are you going to print of each of the record. You can determine, as you have seen before, a page you want to print, either page 1, page 5, page 8, or if you actually want to print maybe page 1, I think, to 8, that means from 1 to 8, and you want to change the paper size, one properties, and many other things. You can, you can do all of them there. After now, you come to the bottom again, at the bottom right, and click on OK. It will start printing all of them 1,175 with ease. So what we have just done now, we have successfully do what could have seemed impossible. Okay. Then another question you may ask is that, okay, after this, how do we get these student records? No, normally you can just save the you where you save files. Okay. All right. Let's just do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let me just end up this level six. Level 6, of course, you can see the printing. If you feel like editing again, maybe you've noticed any error, you can edit here.
But after that, you can save it. All right, let's quickly save it. I'm going to save it. Um, let me still use um, that same folder. Okay, testing mail. Um, let's use something like uh, finish. Finish. Okay. Finish as our save. All right, I'm going to close this. I'm closing everything. Let's go back to our desktop and locate that folder testing. And uh, we can see that we have it here. We have finished. So just open it. Now, when you open it, you will see this prompt warning box. Okay, it's actually not really a warning, just telling you that this file is going to open with my SQL command because of our what the setting we have made, it actually takes some code from my SQL. So you just say yes, I want to. As soon as you say yes, it's open it for you again. So at any time you want to, you can as well come in here and reprint and reuse and maybe send mail it any way you want. If you come in here, you can see that you can still check them. They are all there. And see, still changing. So you can save, you can open, you can print, you can mail it to the student. So instead of spending so many months trying to type the addresses of the student one after the other for this 1,475, now that won't be necessary. With this tutorial, you have learned how you can do that with ease. So what, is, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like, share this video, and just let others see to benefit from what you have just learned. Make sure you stay with my Dan Computer Training Channel because we have much more to share with you. Thanks so much. Remember, blessed. See you in our next tutorial.